Many years ago, I used to run my site out of an office building in an industrial part of Richmond. There were two other tenants in the building. One was an auto repair shop. The other was a drug dealer who used to make Ill illegal substances. He was eventually busted after a month-long police sting operation. I thought that was hilarious because the previous tenant, he was a marijuana grow up. The um, laugh ended when the landlord informed me that I would have to leave or be evicted. It seems he thought I was a drug dealer because I had associated with a drug dealer and my lifestyle seemed to mirror his. I wouldn't show up to the office until around noon and the first thing I did was go for lunch. I used the office more of a hangout than anything else. The sign on my door read, by appointment only. And there were no phone numbers listed anywhere for people to call. Of course, I wasn't a drug dealer, but that didn't seem to matter to the landlord. I was guilty by association. See, you are who you associate with. Have you ever noticed that successful people hang around other successful people? Birds of a feather really do flock together. If you're a jock, then chances are most of your friends are jocks as well. If you're a nerd, then you hang around other nerds. If you're broke, then odds are you don't have many rich friends. This is not by accident. This is the law of attraction at work. You attract to you what you are. One of the reasons many commentators disagree with my never live on cash post is because of the power of association. The commentators ask me how many people I know who never runs a credit card balance. The answer is everyone I know. I hang around financially responsible people who know the difference between good debt and bad debt. I don't hang around people who are financially irresponsible. The people you hang with affects your reality. I had assumed that everyone pays off their credit card debt because all my friends do. However, others assume most don't pay off the balance because none of their friends do. The power of association is extremely powerful in the way it dictates who you are and how much money you make. If you want to change yourself or your lifestyle, then quite often it will require you to change the circle of friends you associate with. Ask yourself, are your friends keeping you down it is said that you are the average of the five people you hang out with most. Take a look at your five closest friends. If they are not where you want to be, then it may be time to find five new people who are. Now, dumping friends because they're not where you want to be may seem cold, but one of the biggest barriers to success is quite often the people you hang out with. They laugh at your crazy dreams and say, you're wasting your time trying to become a big money blogger. More often than not, you'll let your friends keep you down because of peer pressure and the desire for acceptance. However, if you want to break out of the rat race, then you may need to stop spending so much time with your current buddies and start associating with people who have the same dreams and desires and goals as you. The truth of the matter is, you're not really leaving your friends. More often than not, it will be your friends who will leave you. As you move up the ladder of success, your old friends will no longer be able to relate to you. There will also be that jealousy factor as well. In order to continue climbing the ladder of success, I make sure I associate with other successful people. I thought I was doing well when I was making $10,000 per month. Then I started associating with people like Shoe Money, and Neil Patel, now I can't imagine living on only 10,000 bucks a month. If you aspire to be more than what your friends want to achieve, then you're gonna to have to find others at your level and above and start associating with them. Birds of a feather flock together. Success breeds success. This is why the rich get richer. If you wanna become rich, you need to hang out with the rich. Perception is 9 tenth reality. I wasn't a drug dealer, but because my landlord saw me associating with a drug dealer, I got branded a drug dealer. Perception is a really powerful thing. For a politician, 
perception is reality. For the rest of us, perception is nine-tenth reality. Just by hanging around successful people, you are perceived as a successful person yourself. This is based on the birds of a feather flock together mentality. It is perceived that rich people don't hang out with poor people and vice versa. If you associate with successful people, you are perceived as successful even if you're not. The cool thing about this perception is it can manifest into reality. Hang around successful people long enough and you'll become one of them. Success is a team effort. It really is. No man or woman has ever done it alone. Sure, it may seem like it sometime, but I assure you, anyone who has achieved success has a supporting cast. Like it or not, the people you hang with is your supporting cast. They will either keep you down or they will lift you up. If they're keeping you down, then it may be time to find a new supporting cast. My advice? Don't associate with a drug dealer. This is John Chow from johnchow.com. I welcome your comment. Please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys tomorrow.